In a nutshell, the message I want to relay to my colleagues is the importance of establishing an antimicrobial stewardship program in their respective healthcare settings. Antimicrobial drugs, from antifungal drugs to broad-spectrum antibiotics, are being prescribed with increased frequency nowadays. And a lot of such agents have been prescribed empirically without a proper follow-up culture for confirmation of the organism, thus raising the possibility of prescribing with insufficient clinical reasoning. This is aside from prescribing the antibiotic with the wrong dose, with the wrong frequency, with the wrong duration of action, resulting in an increased risk of possible adverse effects, drug interactions, etc., which in turn will be an additional cost burden on a respective healthcare institution as well. The most notable result of inappropriate use of antibiotics, however, is the increased resistance to therapy, which increases the challenge of treating an infection. So we need to tackle this problem more than ever before. And we believe that the most effective proven approach would be to establish an antimicrobial stewardship program in a healthcare setting. I believe its importance is presented in it gathering all the relevant stakeholders and decision makers from the region that can share their plans, ideas, and experiences from their respective settings. Such collaborative efforts will only strengthen us as one JCC pharmaceutical team and prepare us to move forward in our journey of advancing our profession to the next level. I believe that the practice of pharmacy in the region is evolving on a very rapid pace. Day by day, we as a pharmacy profession are gaining more and more credibility as a valued healthcare profession and being a crucial member of the multidisciplinary healthcare team. From participation of clinical pharmacists in morning rounds, to aiding in the establishment of clinical guidelines and protocols, to performing one-on-one -on -one direct patient care counseling in an outpatient setting, with a primary focus of ensuring proper education of the patient on their medication therapy, etc., we are showing why we are a core member of any given healthcare system. I, th I think we've come a very long way in working on ensuring appropriate continuous education for our pharmacy team. For example, here in Qatar, in our hospitals, we've recently put the finishing touches on the establishment of a continuous professional development program with the ultimate goal of ensuring that pharmacists are pursuing accredited and acceptable continuous education programs that will enhance their knowledge and keep them current on the latest and greatest in the ever evolving pharmacy field. I think this is a great question. I think there are a lot of factors to look into. First of all, though we've come a long way in gaining acceptance and credibility among other healthcare professionals, we still have some work to do. We've also started involving pharmacists more and more in the decision-making process for a patient's medication therapy. Through the launch of the first pharmacy-managed anticoagulation clinic in the country here in Qatar, aside from recently launching the nation's first pharmacy-managed medication therapy management or MTM clinic in the state of Qatar as well. Our ultimate goal is to gain full acceptance from other healthcare disciplines for being an essential part of the healthcare team.